Hi Photo Reefers, I'm Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. Today's video, as you might have guessed it by now, I'm going to do uh, how to do the upgrade from the standard driver controller to the Quiet One driver controller. So let's dive into it and I'll show you how easy, painless, and simple it is to actually do the upgrade. So here we go. Okay, and here we are at my dining room table. Uh, this is how it comes in. Uh, if you want to call this a little mini um, unboxing, it comes like this. I already opened it, of course. Let's take it out. It comes very, very well packed. Uh, here, here comes the uh, knob and the uh, screws uh, that hold the uh, cover. And then, of course, then you have the instructions. Now, there's two instructions. One here is to do the upgrade on the, if you see it there, on the standard one, uh, the most recent one, which is the one that I have here, if you notice. Now, there's an upgrade even for one that's further, further back. Now, I already read all this as you see here so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the demonstration of how you actually do the upgrade so let me put this aside let me take it unwrap from the bubble wrap okay it also brings uh, to velcro as you notice here like on the previous one that I bought way back it also brought it okay let's put the velcro to the side and all you need believe it or not it's a hex screwdriver that's all you need okay now the first thing we need to do is to unplug the uh, the dry side from the old one so all you do is the first thing you gotta do is take the knob out I'm gonna put it here Turn it around and then uh, un unscrew it. Oops. Okay. Okay, let's get the uh, other screw fell here on the floor. Okay. Then all you got to do, of course, is just open it up. Okay. Let's take the cover off. Okay, now this is what, what you're going to see when you go ahead and open it. Now here's what you got to do. Okay, this that you see here, it's like a, it's like a fitting, so it, it won't actually pull the cables out. It goes on that slot. So you undo that, and then all you do is you get the board and you just take it out. Okay, let's take the cover out. Okay, now if I would have had a uh, the Wi-Fi uh, chip, it would actually go here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. But if you look at it closely, there's two prongs there. It's a, a, a chip that, that would actually go there. Presently, as you notice, I do not have the uh, Wi-Fi chip. So for the purposes of this video, we're uh, just going to do the upgrade later on when I when I get the the chip I think it runs like 40 or 45 dollars all I do is I get it and I plug it there and then the system will be uh, automatically Wi-Fi okay here's the uh, connection as you notice here all you gotta do there's a little clip there okay all you gotta do is just raise it and and pull the uh, socket out from the uh, the connection okay 
Just hold it firmly. Okay, there it is. I've disconnected it. Okay. Now let's put this aside. Now here's your uh, new uh, quiet drive. It comes, as you see here, it comes with a, the a knob uh, um, separate and the screws also separate. So all we have to do is just open it. There you go. Put the old knob here. Let's open this up. There's your new knob and the three screws. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're going to lift the uh, board. And there you go. If you notice, they're very similar. This is the, the, the old one, and this is the new one. Okay, so all we got to do, all you got to do is just plug it in. Always remember that the... Uh, the clip that grabs to, uh, um, you know, to actually lock it always has to be on top, as you notice. So all you do is you go in, you, you hold the board, and then you just, whoops, and then you just press it. Make sure it's on. Make sure it's locked. Okay. Now, it it did. Uh, I don't know if you heard it, like a little click. So here, if you notice. Let me bring it closer to the camera. Okay, it should be, it should be uh, like grabbing there, so it it actually closed, and there shouldn't be no no space here. It it should be completely sealed. Okay. So we get the front cover. There you have it. We put it like you noticed the other one that we did. This way. If you notice here, there's a like a little guide that, that goes on this little hole here. There you go. And then you're going to get this, uh, what I was explaining to you guys before. You just move it out and you're going to place it here. So it actually grabs like, like previously. So that's what it should look like. You put, again, like I said, you put the, uh, the uh, board upside down. This should go into the slot here. You see, it, it should actually go there on the slot so it doesn't move. And then you go ahead and you put your cover. Make sure, of course, that the slots uh, that you see here are for the, the uh, entries of all these cables. That's very important. It doesn't go this way. It goes this way. Okay. With, of course, the uh, um, description and all that, the label should be on the top, as you notice there. Okay, so you just place it here. There you go. You put your three cable, your, I'm sorry, your three uh, screws. Okay.
Okay, one final inspection that you should actually do is make sure that it's all even. That, you know, that, that tells you that uh, uh, everything uh, fits on its proper channel and all that. Uh, everything's fine. Like here, you see, I, I still have to tighten it a little more. There you go. You see what I mean about this, uh, the connection? That This is actually so, you know, you don't pull the, the cables out. There's your connection. Everything's done. Uh, let me check this one here. Okay. And all you got to do is put the knob and bingo. That's it. I have just done the upgrade from the standard um, drive controller to the Quiet One drive controller. So I hope you found it uh, uh, educational and instructional. And if you did like the uh, video, just hit a thumbs up. Also, you're welcome to subscribe to my channel. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.